Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome. I'm going to do a teaser walkthrough of our newest instrument, Eris, Hybrid Choir Designer. It's a very exciting project. We've been really um, looking forward to releasing it and um, getting into your hands. Um, one thing to kind of note about this walkthrough is it is going to be informal. We're still kind of wrapping up the production process, so there might maybe a few bugs or um, a few different graphic issues you'll see. But um, but yeah, so without further ado, let's jump on in. Uh, what you see here in the interface is you have six different groups, which will load um, with the performance patch. You have your bass, tenor, male, female, choirs, alto, and soprano. And here's how the choirs uh, sound together. There's the oohs, go to ah. So let's do hums. Go to lower register. And uh, right here you can use uh, the key switches over here at C0 to D sharp one, uh, 0 to change that. So you can, you know, easily just... Um, you can individually EQ each of these by selecting uh, the top right here. Um, just kind of lets you to really dial in the perfect sound. Um, now, okay, just kind of a few things on the uh, using this. So um, obviously you can engage and disengage. You have your volume and pan controls. But uh, we have different mapping options. So this is overlap mode. Overlap mode allows uh, basically the different ranges to overlap. So that's why you can kind of hear them both at the same time. Uh, but if you turn off overlap mode, then uh, you're remapped and you can trigger these things separately. There just sounds really good. We recorded um, piano dynamics up to mezzo forte. And uh, right here is the ooze. We have uh, non vibrato, and you can modulate or sorry, automate with the, um, the mod wheel up to vibrato. really nice um, kind of smooth sound um, so now let's kind of dive in a little bit to the solo singers so you have your uh, your bass over here really low kind of sounds you have your tenor here's your alto oh, make sure I'm hitting the right range your soprano And um, kind of just engage the different vowels. I love the hums for the alto. Really good transition also for the vibrato. And um, aside from this, we have legato. So let's kind of jump in and check out the legato. Uh, we'll enable legato. And um, you have this kind of a really cool speed knob which helps you dial in perfect sound. Here's uh, the alto. And go to 50%. We'll turn off um, overlap mode. One thing to note, uh, overlap mode will give you the full uh, range of the instrument, or of the group. We'll play, listen to it with vibrato. Let's try uh, the O's. Oops. There's the Missa Forte. Piano. Ooh. 
And um, I'll try to kind of get through this a little bit faster. Here's the choirs. kind of the non-vibrato into vibrato. And uh, at this point, you have a, just a really great um, uh, performance patch. You have uh, you know access to these great choirs and solo singers. And um, if you were to just take this instrument for that, it's just you know really great and useful for those really beautiful um, kind of different performances. But let's say you want to utilize these samples in a more kind of sound design type way. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick how we can do that with the performance patch. So here we have your envelope. We can go ahead and turn this guy up to two. And, oops, we'll turn off legato. So now it's kind of like a beautiful pad. Turn on the choirs, the males. And um, at this point, let's uh, engage movement. Movement will completely change this instrument. Um, now it's more of a kind of sound design instrument. Uh, we have four LFOs which you can engage. Here's volume. And then of course pan. You get your tune, uh, your low pass. Here are the different options you have. So volume, pan, pitch, and then your filters. And it's the same for the sequencer. Let's turn this off. Uh, your sequencer here. You can uh, basically um, sequence any of these options. Tune's kind of fun. You can get here and just kind of get all, you know, random and weird. Um, the way that it kind of works is on the back end, if you click here, the different settings, you can choose whatever kind of time you want. So I'll stick with 16th. And we'll have a whole bunch of presets here. We're not completely... Um, uh, finished with creating these presets, but there'll be a, a, a lot of presets here which you can enable. Uh, we'll just kind of go with the subtle right now. And you can see that it, you know, enabled these different settings. And it's cool because like you can change the source right away. We'll go here with the solo singers. Just want the alto. Sounds really nice, you know, it kind of just takes this thing to a whole other level. Of course, we have your different effects here, which you can add. But um, that's essentially the performance patch. Uh, it gives you just tons and tons of different um, unique ways to, to manipulate different choir and vocal samples. And uh, next, we'll take a look at the pads. The pads patch is really, really cool. Uh, has a lot of um, incredible content. Uh, we basically took all of the source material from the performance patch, so all the choirs and vocal samples, and resampled them. So we used all kinds of different sound design techniques, um, worked with some great, very talented sound designers um, to get these pads to you. Um, you'll notice that we have an engine A and engine B. Each of these has different drop-down folders packed with tons of different um, pads that you can kind of cycle through. You can um, see just about 30 in each of these almost. Um, I'll go ahead and kind of play this one. So it's just you can solo uh, engine A. It's a really beautiful kind of um, hums. We'll go to delicate. It's kind of really soft. If we took the alto for this one. So anyways, together they have this really great kind of sound. Um, now each of these, each engine has its own um, access to its own individual movement and effects. So you could basically create um, an entire pad here and then go to the next one and have completely different settings. Um, so as you can see on Delicate, we have uh, different settings there. We have this LFO uh, kind of thing going on. So we turn 
these off. There's the source material. Let's go ahead and kind of listen through the different samples. So you've heard life. Uh, go solo this one. Go back here. It's really, really vibey. Uplifting. There's a little bit graphic bug. Get rid of that real quick. Here we go. Resurrection, siren. Kind of get the idea here. Tons of tension, uh, great tension pads. I really like Borderland. Gives you a really great kind of dark undertone. These are tempo synced. Just kind of cycle through these actually. Oops. Let me turn this off. Start bouncing through here. Oops. 
So great for just kind of adding uh, just fun texture throughout your, your projects. going through everything as fast as I can, kind of give you as much of a uh, kind of overview of the different sounds in here as possible. So there is a lot, obviously, like I said, over 140. And each of these you can load into one, and then you can go over here into the next engine and load a completely different sound, blend them together, modulate, add effects, different sequencers and stuff like that. Um, all of that's going to be ready for you as soon as uh, you know the instrument drops. Really, really, really excited about this particular patch. Um, there's just so many options for you. We'll go take a look at the user patch next. Now, the user patch is sort of a bonus feature for those of you who have the full version of Contact. It allows you to use the whole script and all these different movement and effects options um, that Eris provides and let you kind of use your own samples for it. So um, it's going to require a little bit of knowledge just about contact. If not, you're going to learn a little bit more about contact by using this patch. So um, you have your basically your six groups you can load in. You can load in... Um, you know, different, you can load in different wave files, you can load in Apple loops. Uh, we're going to have detailed uh, instructions for that um, in another video as well as on the manual. So let's kind of just dive right in and show you how we can utilize this. So if you were to go down here to the group editor, uh, here's basically your keyboard patch. We'll take a sample here. This is actually the sound of my dishwasher. Go back down here to the main thing. So now that we have the sample there, we can utilize this. I think there's a little, one quick little thing here. Let's turn off this filter. Okay, so we'll go back here. There's the sound. It's kind of the sound of the dishwasher it was cool as it was cooling down. Um, but we can go ahead and you know add different IRs to it. Let's try clouds. We'll make it real big size. Make the output real. It's really cool. It's a really long decay, but that that's all right. Now let's go here and let's uh, kind of stretch this uh, sample over the keyboard. So let's stretch down to C zero. And now if I click over here. We're going to hear the sample uh, now stretch down two octaves. Let's uh, add some modulation on there. 316. Let's turn the output down just a little bit. Kind of really quickly kind of create something kind of cool. Maybe go here to Screamer. samples. So uh, you can load up to again six uh, or five more different sounds and blend them all together and lay them down in your tracks and um, just kind of again more of a, a fun bonus for for different people who want to get a little deeper into uh, using contact as a sound design engine. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please go to vertu.com for more info on Eris Hybrid Choir Designer.